Snap hooks are another useful assembly feature that are built into the plastic design of a part and let you secure parts together easily. While you can create these manually, SolidWorks offers a tool to help speed up the process that I'd like to show you in this lesson. Picking up from the last lesson, I have an enclosure that I've added a series of mounting bosses and ribs to. Now I'd like to add four snap hooks throughout the part, like I did with the bosses. To do this, I'll activate the snap hook feature from the fastening feature flyout under the insert dropdown. And in the property manager, I can make several selections and adjust multiple parameters related to the snap hook to define it. I'll begin with the hook location by selecting an interior edge along one of the top sides of the part when viewed from the underside. And notice a snap hook silhouette appears where my cursor clicked. Next, I'll define the vertical direction of the hook by choosing the flat face where the enclosure will later mate to its bottom half. The silhouette adjusts, and you can see how this is the face selection that will be parallel to the flat face on the snap hook. For the direction of the hook, you can think of this as the face that the snap hook is facing toward. I'll choose the outside face of the same side wall, and the snap hook silhouette becomes blue, indicating that its directions are fully defined. If your snap hooks aren't oriented correctly, you can enable the reverse direction options until you align it how you want. Additionally, you can choose to enter a body height or select a mating face which will define its height, but I'll stick with the former option for this example. Now to define its dimensions. I'll set the top hook depth, A, to be 0.02 inches, the hook height, B, at 0.05 inches, the hook lip height, C, as 0 inches, the body height, D, to be 0.1 inches, the base hook depth, E, as 0.022 inches, the hook overhang, F, at 0.01 inches, the total width, G, as 0.4 inches, and the top draft angle, H, to be 0 degrees. This looks good, so I'll click OK, and the snap hook is created. At this point, I'd like to position my snap hook to a specific spot that I've already designated with a sketch point inside a 3D sketch I created. To do this, I'll edit the 3D sketch created by the snap hook feature. Select the sketch point from the snap hook along with the point found in my other 3D sketch and add a coincident relation. This will move and define the location of my snap hook, which you can see when I click OK and exit the sketch. To finish up, I'd like to distribute copies of this hook throughout the part to facilitate the assembly. Unlike the mounting bosses, these hooks can be distributed evenly using a mirror feature. So I'll activate the mirror command from the features tab, select the front plane as my primary mirror plane, the right plane as my secondary mirror plane, the snap hook as my feature to mirror, and click OK to generate additional snap hooks around the enclosure.